Welcome to 28storms.com and the Hurricane Tracker app on this Sunday, July 15th. I hope everyone had a good weekend as we start to look ahead to the upcoming work week. And as we venture into the Atlantic Basin tropics, you will see that much of the basin is relatively calm and the most convective activity is located out across the Bahamas and central and southern Florida. However, much of this activity is still non-tropical related and it's more to do with a mid to upper level trough that is not favorable for tropical development. As we can see, there's an upper level low swirling about to the east of Savannah, Georgia, and there's a secondary low out across the southeast gulf. This upper level trough will steadily move more toward the northwest into the inland regions of the southeast, but over the next 24 to 36 hours, rainfall chances across central and southern Florida will remain average or slightly above average compared to climatology. And as things begin to dry out during midweek, we may also see the influence of the Saharan air layer. And every so often we've got a lot of African dust that blows off the coastline and it's carried all the way across the Atlantic Basin by the trade winds. And sometimes you can see an increase in hazy conditions as far west as Florida. And that may be something that occurs later on during this upcoming week. Other than that, the Atlantic Basin tropics remain tranquil, so as we transition over to the eastern Pacific, you will see that we're still dealing with Hurricane Fabio, but it is on the decline. As of the 8 p.m. Pacific Time Advisory from the Hurricane Center, the maximum sustained winds associated with Fabio have weakened down to 90 miles per hour, thus making this a Category 1 hurricane. And even though it still looks impressive on the visible satellite imagery, the latest enhanced infrared loop shows a more telling story as the hurricane is beginning to lose some of its deeper and colder convection or cloud tops on that infrared and this is a result of the storm moving into cooler sea surface temperatures and all this dry air to the west of the Baja Peninsula so we're not expecting any effects across the desert southwest or northwest Mexico. Looking ahead with the latest seven day forecast from the GFS model it's not showing any additional activity and all the recent eastern pacific action is going to steadily wind down here so we're looking good out across the tropics on this sunday evening so that wraps up your tropical weather update for this late sunday check back tomorrow for another in-depth video analysis